How's it going guys? Just shooting you a new video here to explain this uh, device I'm building right now uh, so that everybody can get a good handle on it. And this does not have to be done. This is not a voltage specific device. People for some reason seem to think this has to work at super outrageous voltages. Well, that's not the case. And I'll go on to explain to you what this is. Let me just pull it out one-handed here with the camera and all. I don't want to bugger it up. It just took me a little while to put it all together. So these are one-inch ferrite toroids taped together with Kapton tape. There's 30 of them in there. So I'm making a ferromagnetic core for my high-voltage to low-voltage step-down voltage and amperage transformer so this is just a piece of pvc it fits perfectly inside the, the ferrite core it's right inside of here like that and it looks like this right so and you can see right through it there's no core just the ferrite the reason for the ferrite is we get a much stronger magnetic coupling and for what i'm going to explain next that is important so this is the proper understanding of the don smith device done in a manner so as to avoid the expensive high voltage capacitors this will be a low voltage device and I will separate the volts and the amps. And we're going to walk over to the blackboard here. And uh, I've drawn it all up here. And I'll go ahead and explain it to you once I make my way here. Okay. So, there's, there's the, the whole deal. Uh, so, this is a magnetic field. We've got a south field and a north field. Uh, these are the magnetic flux lines, the blue lines. That's what's commonly understood. These yellow lines are the, are the um, electric lines. So you don't get one without the other. You have electric and magnetics to make electrics. So you have electromagnetics, EM waves. So that's uh, what's produced. My primary coil is here, in here, and it's a long primary coil to fill the entire core, as many turns as I can get respective of the wire length to keep everything in harmony um here's what people don't get out of don smith's work and tesla's work and there's a patent i didn't write the number on the board but uh if you know what i'm talking about you'll know what patent it is and you can refer to the patent for a better explanation but for right now uh, if you want amps and you want volts you have to understand what happens here so this, this is a center tapped coil. Um, Tesla says they can be wound in the same direction, opposite directions, or the specific amps winding uh, where they're bifiller wound backwards. Starting from this end, the center tap would be here and two wires get wound together and that side cancels the electron flow. So no electrons flow through that wire just amperage and that is called zero volt technology so to have a better look at this we are going to place a capacitor across here as tesla explains and that causes a pole shift so we're squeezing one half of the coil constantly by pulling the volts and not pulling anything off the amp side and in doing so our capacitor fills up and uh, as a constant drain on this coil and it causes the magnetic field on this coil to shift to this node and that just conveniently happens to be where our amperage coil is located so step back a bit so you can get a better look at the whole picture that is the pull shift it's an induced pull shift forcing the magnetic field onto our amps coil and it will reside there because of the capacitor it'll always be imbalanced pushing the magnetic field to the amp side winding 
So when we pull amps from the device, unlimited amps we shall receive. All right, so that's what's going on that core. We'll walk back over here through the mess and uh, back to the table. So much going on in here, but uh, that's what's going on here. Bolts and amps causing a pole shift by pulling the voltage with a capacitor forcing the magnetic field to shift to the other side of the coil where our amps coil is placed and we can pull our amps from there. Ciao.